good morning everybody how are you this beautiful Sunday morning you know every time we do Kids Town Live I see this wall behind me with all these little patches on the wall it reminds me constantly I need to paint this room so today is um, what is today guys it's July uh, July 19th sorry it's hard to keep track of all the dates right now since we're doing so much stuff at home sometimes I forget it's even Sunday we are still in the book of Matthew um, we're doing our Matthew part 2 we're just starting our part 2 series um, and today we're gonna read from Matthew chapter 12 verses um, 45 it's very dark in here what's going on I'm gonna wipe my camera guys hang on hmm okay well that's okay that's okay um, anyways we're on chapter 12 verse 46 through 50 and in this section of um, Matthew Jesus is describing what his true family looks like so I'm going to start today by reading to you the scripture verses and then I have a fun little um, science experiment we're gonna do so listen as I read to you um, Matthew chapter 12 verses 46 through 50 this is what it says while Jesus was still talking to the crowd his mother and brothers stood outside wanting to speak with him and someone told him your mother and brothers are standing outside wanting to speak to you and he replied to the man who is my mother and who are my brothers pointing to his disciples he said here are my mother and my brothers for whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother it's interesting we're going to do a little experiment today um, to kind of help better understand what exactly Jesus was talking about because it sounds like he was saying there's people outside my real mom and brother are not really my mother and brother like he was denying that part of his family and that's that's not what he was doing um, so let's see what um, Jesus was talking about first I have this empty it's an empty water bottle okay I pulled the label off all right my chair keeps rolling out from underneath me there we go okay um, and we're gonna say that this bottle here represents God's family um, and then I have um, vegetable oil and I also have another bottle of water with actual water in it and we are gonna have the oil and the water <clears throat> the oil and the water represent different people in God's family so I forgot to bring my measurements so we're gonna just wing it here and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take some of this water and add it into God's family and let's hope I don't spill it because that would not be good all right let's about let's go about to right about there okay so you guys can all see the water okay um, and then I'm going to add some oil our vegetable oil here I'm gonna put a funnel in it for that okay so here we go and I'm gonna put about in the same amount of oil as I did water we can hope that it'll be about the same amount since I forgot to bring my measurements let's see oh yeah that looks looks about equal can you guys see that right there there's the vegetable oil and there's the water so these are the people in God's family okay I'm gonna put the lid back on here so first what do you notice about them um, they don't they don't mix very well I'm gonna even when I shake it up the oil and water are always separate so let's we're gonna shake it up and we're just gonna watch what happens okay so we're just gonna watch and see what happens I shook it up really good so we'll just keep observing and see what happens oh 
Okay, I'm starting to see the water down here again and the oil up here again. We're still a little bit mixed right here. Let's, let's continue to watch. And it looks like they, um, they separated again. They don't mix well. And the water and the oil are like each of us. We're all unique. So they stand out from each other, right? We all have our own wants. We all have our own needs. Um, but sometimes our wants and our needs don't mix well with other people's wants and needs. Look at that. It's separated all the way back, almost all the way back. Still a little foamy looking. Um, so sometimes we disagree with other people. And when that happens, it makes us feel separate. Kind of like this right here. So what... Um, what are some things that make you feel separate from other people? Um, maybe they go to a different church. I don't know. Maybe they have a different taste in music. You like country, they like pop. Um, perhaps your parents are very strict and have a lot of rules and, your, and, and their parents are very easygoing and don't have a lot of rules. Maybe they have a lot of toys and fun games that you don't have. There's so many things that can make us feel separate. But Jesus wants us to all be together in God's family. Um, and he's the one that can bring us together. So we're here in God's family. I'm gonna add some um, dish soap now, okay? And um, we're gonna see what happens when I do that. So remember, the, uh, the water and the oil represent different people in God's family, okay? We shook it up, they did not blend well, they're separating back up, and if I let this sit longer, it would separate perfectly and look exactly like it did before with a nice layer of oil, nice layer of water. So I'm gonna add the dish soap now. And I just want you to watch and see what happens. Okay, right now it's sitting in the in the in-between space. I'm gonna give a little bit more dish soap. Okay, so we're gonna pretend Jesus is the dish soap. Remember the oil and the water are the different people in God's family. Jesus is the dish, is the dish soap. He is what will bring us together. Okay, so I'm just gonna swirl. I'm not even gonna shake. I'm just gonna swirl and we're gonna watch and see what happens okay hmm could do that bring it back oh boy look at this that's pretty cool just a lot of swirling now if you look at this carefully you can see that um, Jesus, the dish soap, is bringing this together and it will permanently mix the oil and the water and they will not separate again. So if you look at that carefully, you're going to see that it is becoming quite well mixed and I am not even, sh I'm not shaking it. I did tip the bottle a little bit. Here, let me back it up. I feel like the lighting is a little off today. But um, if you think about this, so this is God's family, right? The water and the oil were different people in God's family and they did not mix well. We added the dish soap, which is Jesus, and Jesus is what brings us together as one body in God's family. So what are some ways that um, Jesus' love brings us together? Think about that. What are some ways? Hmm. If Jesus helps us see everyone as unique individuals, but all loved by God, right? Jesus helps us to remember that um, God loves everybody. God has created everybody and he loves us all. We are all unique, different individuals, but together we make up God's family. You can try this experiment at home and just see the water and the oil will permanently stay mixed now because 
because of the dish soap. So once we have Jesus as part of us, once we've accepted Jesus, he helps us um, mix with other people nicely. Um, we could be different. We have different um, likes and wants and needs. Um, but G that doesn't matter. Jesus mixes us together as one in God's family. So um, Jesus wants us to be part of his family and he helps us get there. So we're gonna pray, and then I'm gonna show you a coloring page. If you want to do that, um, it's on the church website, cccvv.org, and you can download, print it, and it's just a fun, I'll show it to you now. It's just a fun little coloring page. Um, it says, it's backwards, but it says, Jesus wants us to be part of his family. And it is from what we read today, Matthew chapter 12, verse 46 through 50. I think the words are reversed for you guys, but that's okay. All right, let's pray. It was a short lesson today, and that's okay. Sometimes we just need a little, a little bit of a reminder, and that's, that's enough. All right, let's pray. God, thank you so, so much for sending us Jesus. Thank you for the fact that he helps us mix so well with other people that we can all be part of your family. In your son's name we pray, amen. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Have a wonderful week.